Where we met is the new focal point for downtown Greensboro. Of course, it is the sculpture which highlights LeBauer Park and Janet Eckelman created it. We're so glad you're with us. Thank you, it's such a delight to be here. So talk a little bit about this piece and, and how it started and how it grew. Well, I first started researching as much as I could about this community. The fact that Greensboro was called the Gateway City, that it was the hub where six different railway lines came together. And I started looking at the textile history because of the Armfield Foundation and its, its grounding in the textile mills. And I started just making dots along these railroad lines where there was a textile mill historically. And I just started connecting the dots and suddenly there was this form and that's what you see here today. So in the center is Greensboro at the hub, the Gateway City, and the colors began to develop around this idea that people were coming from so many different parts of the world, parts of the country, different walks of life, different cultures were coming with them, people from different races coming together, and that every there, this city is not different histories, it's one interwoven history of all these people who were needed to make this community. And in the sculpture, they are all knotted together. And when the wind blows, it all moves as one. When you are working on it, are you, you're so close to it. Do you, have you, do you see it like this as you're working on it? Or is this really the first time you see it? as a whole. I, I have to admit this is so much more exciting than what it's like when I'm working in the studio. I know every element of the form, but this is just, you know, together with the sky and the wind and the sunlight streaming through, it's always changing. That's a quality that I really embrace. Now, I understand, what you can tell, you look at it and you know there's a lot of twine. How many miles, how much time, I mean, what went into this? Well, it's 35 miles of twine knotted together in more than 200,000 knots. And every, the white lines that you see at the top are made of this incredibly strong fiber. It's stronger than steel. In fact, it's 15 times stronger than steel. And every time those white ropes come together, like a drawing, they're hand spliced in ways that, that humans have been splicing rope for centuries. So talk about your history a little bit. I don't know if there's a traditional way that an artist gets started. Everyone probably comes to it a little differently. How did you come to art, and in particular, this type of sculpting? By accident. <laughs> Everything in my life pretty much has sort of unfolded in ways I never expected. I was a painter. Uh, I really was out in the world learning on my own. I shipped all of my paints to India and I was teaching at their National Institute of Design and I was waiting for my paints to arrive because I'd promised to give exhibits all around the country for the United States Embassy. And I had no materials. I was waiting, I was waiting and you know, the deadline for the shows arrived and the paints didn't. So I had to do something and there I was in a fishing village and I thought, well, I can complain about what's not here or look at what is here. And there were fishermen knotting nets and I thought, well, I'm going to learn how to do that. And that is the way that I ended up here. The warmth and hospitality that I have experienced here is unlike any project I've ever done and I mean that. Um, it's such a personal experience, the relationships I've developed with the members of the Greensboro Community Foundation and the Public Art Endowment and all of the Armfield Foundation, the, the people who have worked so hard to, to make this community grow is really astonishing and I'm excited to be a part of it.